In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a very effective little route combo that is going to help you pretty much beat every defense you're going to face. And this is out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the tight offset tight end formation. Um, and if you want to get my full New Orleans offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's just 10 bucks to get access to that. And it gets you access to all of the Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks that we have over there. This makes, I think, our 17th ebook of the year. And I'm going to be dropping a brand new um, offense as well on Monday. So make sure you're a Patreon member um, and you'll get access to everything that we have over there so the play we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be saint spot out of the new orleans playbook again and we're taking a look at tight offset tight in um so the play is saint spot we're going to show you how to use this play to literally beat everything that the defense is going to do um so what we're going to do with our setup here um actually fairly simple setup we are going to wheel our running back and then we're just simply going to uh, motion block this right side receiver. Now, you want to be on the left hash mark uh, for this. And what you're going to see with this play um, is you can motion block to get really good pass protection. But this corner route is going to be the primary read against zone coverage. When you put a wheel route with a deep corner and that wheel route is going to the wide side of the field, you're gonna notice a lot of success with this play. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and press cover four. Um, notice that when I motion Evans across, I can block him. Um, so that's the key with that. And then you'll see here, just wait on it and you'll see that it'll get that little window to the outside to be able to attack both cover four as well as uh, cover three. So we'll show you here, this is gonna be cover three. Same setup, we're just gonna motion this guy across. And then we have this wheel route right here. Now, uh, what you'll also see here again, here's cover three, he's going to turn inward, and then you're going to be able to throw this to the outside for an easy game. Now, I want to show you this play also against cover two. Now, cover two is a little bit different um, just in terms of how the clouds work. I do want to quickly say that most people, if you're going to be facing someone that's running a good cover two, they're going to back these clouds off, okay? They're going to back these clouds off. Um, if not, it's going to be really simple for you to be able to attack uh, the cover two. So what you want to do um, if you're in a situation like that, you'll notice here that I can high ball and pass lead that up and I can actually get over uh, the top of a cover two defense. If they're running a lot of cover two, another thing that you can do though is you can also work the high low in the flat that we have um, to the right side. So you'll see here this cover two to the right side, uh, or I'm sorry, to the left side, we have this high low. So you'll see here, we can just throw this little out route against that cover two. And now they have to double flat that left side of, uh, of the screen. The problem when we get into some of the double flatting that you're gonna see uh, is actually really common out of cover two this year. The problem with double flatting out of a cover two is the middle of the field is really open. Um, and so what we can easily do with this is we could just simply throw this wheel route, whoops, um, with a pass lead inside. And we need to throw that a little bit sooner before it gets to that deep half, uh, but I'll show it to you real quick again. You know, so again, we're just setting up kind of a basic double flat. Another thing that you'll notice too, is if you actually leave, you can take Mike Evans and put him on a flat if you want to, and that will create kind of an opening for this little pivot route. Uh, but again here, when he cuts up the field, we're just gonna high ball inside. You see that that receiver or that, that zone is gonna dumb out pretty consistently. So, you know, if it's cover two and it's a good cover two, they might have a little bit of a window to stop you. Um, but another thing that I wanna point out here is this left side corner route's a little different than the right side corner route. You see that the right side corner route's a little sharper. It's gonna be more of like a rounded out route. This corner route on the left side is a little bit more angled and it's that way it's gonna get up field a little bit more. So you can see here that there is a window that I can throw that left side corner route. Um, and I'll give you another thing that you can do real quick with this as well. Um, but I wanna show this corner route one more time and then we'll talk about a little variation if they're running a lot of cover two Mabel because cover two Mabel is a drop eight generally. Um, generally speaking, it's gonna be a drop eight coverage. You see how I can kind of fit that in a tight window on the left side. But if they're running a lot of cover two, um, what you can do, and let's just say again, um, just to illustrate, we're going to go with a Mabel look. Uh, again, a drop eight coverage is very likely if they're going to be in cover two uh, this year. Just take Mike Evans and put him on a streak when you motion him across as opposed to blocking him. What you're going to see is now we have a clear out, and now this gets 
wide open against cover two. So if you're getting a lot of cover two, you can, you know, just throw that. Um, and then the last thing that I want to go over is a uh, coverage, basically just a man coverage look. So if they're in man coverage, I want you to notice something about this motion over. Now our tight end is isolated against a linebacker or a safety. Um, so he's going to have outside leverage here. And Otten couldn't have ran that route worse. But again, we want to have short and elite on everybody uh, on the field. And we want to have, um, you know, our tight end, you know, able to be able to attack man coverage. Now, if you know it's man coverage, like they clearly follow him like this. One thing you might consider, um, you know, is just working this left side. The left side is going to cook man coverage. This corner route to the left is super effective against man. So you kind of have that as like a obvious read. Like that corner route on the left side is always open against man. Like literally it is almost always open against man to man. Okay. Um, if you wanted to, you could take again, you could do some little uh, out route in route little concept right here like this. This will give you some other quick reads if they are indeed going to run a lot of man-to-man -man on you and you wanted more of a man-to-man -a -a -man variation of this. Um, you know, you could do something like that as well. Um, but really, it's just the two corner routes. That's the primary read against man-to-man. -man. This running back off the ball quick, um, because we're going to motion snap him, uh, you can a lot of times highball that to the outside or just get it out there quick, and he'll be able to cook man coverage, um, especially like a man blitz scenario. So, like, let's say this is a man blitz scenario. Uh, we're going to have good protection because we're going to motion block this guy across, right? So we're going to motion block this guy across. Um, you could just snap. I'll show you one other thing you could do with this. But notice how quick, how wide open the running back is to the flat against any kind of man pressure. One last thing I want to show you uh, from a blitzing perspective that's kind of interesting is basically this. It's a little bit of a kind of a, an art, if you will. But what you want to do is you want to snap the ball. Basically, when he becomes a tight end on the right, so if I don't, I don't, I'm not going to make any hot routes to him. I'm just going to snap the ball when he's at the line of scrimmage right there, and he a lot of times will pick stuff up. The problem is that right there, as you can see. So there's a little bit of a nuance to it, but what the idea is, you don't want him to get all the way to the other side, and I'm going to explain uh, a little bit more why in just a second, but you want to try to master this because what this can do for you is if you snap this guy, like let's say we snap him right about here, you know, now... This corner route is going to be more open. Now, again, he is kind of cover the running back in a cover zero scenario. But let's say it's match coverage for a second. So if it's match coverage and I motion this guy across, this corner route on the left side will be defended by match coverage because we've turned it into kind of a natural match uh, from a box check perspective. However, if I snap the ball... When this receiver is on the right side, like here, like we just talked about, now you'll see here we get this isolation on the corner rail that's very effective. So that's kind of just a little bit of a nuance to the setup. You can do some interesting things when you motion this guy in different positions. Um, let me show you one other thing about the man blitz that I think is interesting. So if I motion him, let's say I get him to about right here. You see now there's nobody on the running back. So you see how you can kind of play chess with when you snap him. Um, the other thing is, let me go back to the match coverage for just a second and show you this little piece here. So we're going to run the same concept just like this. But we're going to snap him right here. Now if you look to the left, you're going to see that now it triggers that match coverage to change. So just keep that in mind when you're running this play. Um, I love this play. I think it's a really simple way to attack a lot of what the meta is in this game. And the fact that the wheel route really clears out well for this corner route, I think is a big, big tip. So anyways, if you guys want to learn more about this offense, I would really encourage you to get into the Patreon. Um, that's where you get access to all the eBooks and all the updates. We have a full New Orleans Saints offensive eBook. We're gonna be updating it with some new formations as well. So make sure you're in the Patreon. If you wanna sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.